a healthy nerve has the ability to do two things. They can stretch or elongate a little bit. Pretend this is a healthy nerve. So they can stretch or elongate just a little bit. You can just see how that, the stretching that is happening in there. They also have the ability to slide through or past other tissues, especially in the spine. There's an area called the intervertebral foramen or the IVF. It's where the nerve leaves the spine. And a healthy nerve should be able to move in there. When you have something called nerve tension, that is when the nerve either gets inflamed, it gets swollen, and it usually loses its ability to do one or both of those things, elongate a little bit and or slide past other tissues. And we call that nerve tension. In this video, I wanna talk about some of the causes of nerve tension, how long it might last, and then some of the better treatment options. So this nerve tension can usually happen in the neck and then sometimes it will cause pain down the arm or it can happen in the low back. And when that happens, you end up with things called sciatica. When people have sciatica, usually they'll say things like, it's hard to bend over, it's hard to put on my socks, it's hard to put on my shoes. They have localized pain in the low back, but then also um, that bending over or putting on socks and shoes might really flare it up or make it radiate or shoot um, into the back of the hip, the leg, or even down the leg. Some of the more common causes of this, probably the first is a disc bulge. Um, and then behind that, another common cause of this is something called foraminal stenosis. It's not always the pressure of the disc bulge that's causing that, it's the inflammation. When that bulge comes out, the body recognizes that as a foreign object and there's a large inflammatory response. And it's that inflammation that causes that lack of ability of that nerve to do the stretching that it does. And it gets very irritated and inflamed and swollen. So how long does nerve tension last? How long does sciatica last? <sighs> that depends. I, I, I've been a practicing chiropractor for 15 years and I've seen everything from two or three weeks up to a year. And it's going to depend on the severity of the injury. It's going to depend on how fast your body heals and especially are you gonna do the right things for it, get the appropriate therapies to do it. So I hate to leave you with such a broad range, but that's just the reality of what it is. But I would say on average, think eight weeks, 12 weeks, somewhere in there. But again, it could be much longer than that and it could actually be quite you know, significantly shorter than that. So that leads us to the treatments. What are the best treatments? There's conservative therapy options and then there's more medical and then you know all the way to the invasive options. I'm gonna start with the conservative therapy options. For nerve tension, there's something called nerve flossing or nerve mobilization. And that's where you elongate gently and then let off. So you're just stretching and letting off. Uh, if you want information on that, just click the link above or go into the description below. And I've got an entire video that I've made on nerve flossing. Other non-invasive approach are things like spinal decompression. The spinal decompression, that elongation of the spine back and forth can help reduce the inflammation of that area. But other stretches in general, so finding the right stretches for you, you could also try something like a yoga class that could be valuable. Be careful, sometimes the long sustained holding stretches aren't always valuable in this case, so you're gonna have to be very careful and listen to your body. And then things like massage, myofascial release, these can also be helpful. And then sometimes for some people, a traditional chiropractic therapy, such as spinal manipulation, the adjustments. So those are all options and usually used in combination together, they work best. Moving more towards the medical side of things and then even to the invasive side of things. Um, on the medical side of things, of course, medications. You could start with non-anti-inflammatories, then steroidal anti-inflammatories, there are cortisone injections, um, and then surgery is rare. Most people don't need surgery for this. However, if you're losing strength, you just really have lost a lot of sensation, severe pains, there are instances and circumstances where surgery is absolutely necessary. And that's where, of course, you would consult with either your primary care physician or a spine surgeon uh, on something like that. So. Hopefully you got something out of this video. You understand a little bit about what nerve tension is. Again, if you check out our comments below, or I'm sorry, our description below, you will find a lot of options in there, other videos that we have for treating nerve tension. So if you like this video, give us the thumbs up. If you really like this video, please subscribe to our channel. It helps us out and it encourages me to make more videos like this. And then if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.